Okay, so as part of our video series here on different glazing, let's talk about glazing of bathrooms. And this can be, um, it's pretty straightforward, but it can be also a little controversial uh, depending on location of glazing. And so I want to dive right into the code and I'll read you what it says and then we'll look at some pictures, kind of like I've done with the past videos. And I'll kind of uh, give you my take on how I would interpret the code and then you guys can make your best judgment. Sound good? So let's talk about glazing and wet surfaces. So we're talking about hazardous glass or hazardous locations that require tempered glazing um, to be installed. And so for here we have glazing in walls, enclosures, or fences containing or facing hot tubs, spas, whirlpools, saunas, steam rooms, and here are the big ones, bathtubs, showers, so any type of bathroom that has a bathtub or a shower in it, you now have a hazardous location where you need to think about putting in tempered glass. And it just says where the bottom exposed edge of the glazing is less than 60 inches measured vertically above any standing or walking surface shall be considered to be a hazardous location. This shall apply to single glazing in each pane and multiple glazing. So it's, it's telling you that if you're standing in your tub and you can measure 60 inches, or if you're on any walking surface within that bathroom, within that tub, and you can measure glazing within 60 inches of the ground, it should be tempered. So pretty straightforward if you're standing in the tub, right? If you're within that tub and you're within the, the walls of that surrounding tub and you're within 60 inches temper the glazing that way if you slip fall whatever put an elbow through it you're going to protect yourself that's the bottom line you want to be able to protect yourself or protect anybody that might slip and fall so what about let's see here what if the window is like on the other side of the room in this big bathroom okay well how far do you have to be from that tub in order to have to have it glazed. Well, here is the exception. So it says glazing that is more than 60 inches measured horizontally and in a straight line from the water's edge of a bathtub or a shower, right? So the exception is that's more than. So if, it, if you're standing in your tub and you had your tape measure and you measured 60 inches in an arc, okay, it's not more than 60 inches, then it would have to be tempered, right? But if it's more than more than 60 inches, the exception says you do not have to temper it. So the big question would be, well, what if there's a toilet in front of it? This is a big thing and I've read a bunch about it and I've had, as far as an inspector goes, I've had different interpretations of the code. And so right here it says, the bottom exposed edge of the glazing is less than 60 inches measured vertically above any standing or walking surface shall be considered a hazardous location. Well, I read that, interpret that as, well, a toilet is a fixed fixture. It's not a standing or walking surface. So any window behind that toilet would not necessarily have to be tempered, even if it fell within the 60 inch arc. If that makes sense. And so, depending on who you are though, somebody might say, well, it doesn't matter. It falls within the 60 inch arc. It needs to be tempered. It's within five feet or 60 inches of the ground. You need to temper it. I'm gonna leave that up to you. If it's just a small section that's within that 60 inches, maybe it's just the operable part of a single home, I would definitely temper it. I mean, usually the cost on that is not super expensive. And I would just temper it to be safe. Now, you, if you if you got a permit, if this is a uh, if you're required to get permits for these windows that you're putting in, you know, just make sure you cover yourself and make sure you got it done correctly. So let's look at a few pictures. So here would be just standing in the tub. Okay, you've got a piece of you got a window that's in your shower, it's in your tub. You're standing in there, and it's within 60 inches of the ground. It needs to be tempered. Now let's see here. So here we've got a tub. So we have this tub right here, maybe soaking tub, and 
all three of these says the SG stands for safety glazing. So it's telling us that all three of these need safety glazing, which is tempered. And why is that? Well, these two, for sure, they're within that realm of that tub and they're within 60 inches of the ground. They're less than 60 inches, which would be these two pieces right here. Now, this particular one, you might say, well, that's, you know, it's on the other side of the wall. It shouldn't be that big a deal. Well, if it's within that, if it's less than 60 inches from the, the wet surface of the tub, if you're standing in it, then it needs to be tempered. And so if I can run my tape and I, any glass I can hit within 60 inches needs to be tempered. And so here's where things like the toilet kind of come into play. So this is an older code. This is 2015 code. I'm working off the 2018 code. Um, 2021 code might be a little bit different, but in the grand scheme of things, um, when you're deciding whether or not to temper or not to temper, I highly doubt that this is going to change very much. And like I said, if you can throw a little common sense in there, it's like if someone slip and fall, we want them to be safe, then you'll know that you should temper it or not temper it. Um, but here is, um, they're, they're saying in here, everything with red walls must have safety glazing. Okay. Well, we know around the tubs, that's pretty straightforward. If anything around the tubs and it's within five feet, we need to temper it. But here it's saying now it's showing this back wall. And it's also showing this wall. Well, obviously there's a toilet right here and we just kind of read the code and it says, well, is it a walking or standing surface? Well, behind a toilet is not necessarily one, but this particular illustration is telling you that you do need it. Well, if there happened to be a window right here, well, that would be within that 60 inch arc, right? So then those windows would have to be tempered but maybe not the one behind the toilet. So you can see how if you're playing around on the internet and you're looking for pictures on what do I need to do for safety glazing? If you run across something like this, it could be, it could lead you down the wrong road, right? If there was a window that was right here, you might not temper it, not knowing that it's within 60 inches. Well, it is, and you do need to temper it. But then you might tell yourself, well, I got a window behind my toilet and it's telling me to do it based on the way that I interpret the code, I don't need to do it, or I do. You might want to contact your building department and ask them. And then let's hop over to here. You can't read this very well, but I do want to at least read it for you so that you can kind of understand the illustration. And that is, so we've got these three windows right here. And this one says tempered glazing is required because it's within 60 inches measured horizontally from the water's edge. So obviously you're in the tub, you're measuring 60 inches, it's within 60 inches of the ground, it's required. Now here, obviously this is only like a couple feet, if that, from the tub, but it says tempered glass not required, not a standing or walking surface behind the toilet. Okay, well that's how the code reads if you interpret that that way. Someone else might say, well that's within a 60 inch arc, I don't care if there's a toilet there or not, it needs to be tempered. So just keep that in mind. If, uh, if your work requires a permit and you have an inspector coming out, they could call that. So you might want to temper it if you need, if, if, if you have the ability to. So that kind of covers wet surfaces. It covers bathrooms. Again, keep in mind 60 inches and 60 inches, right? 60 inches up, 60 inches horizontal from the tub, anything in that realm, 